So this question looks like it's going to be a simplified question, possibly. I mean, it does have the for, it does have the format. The format of simplified questions are typically the question is short, somewhere between one and three lines long, and we have an equation. The reason why I hesitate is because I can't actually simplify this equation, right? It's 4x minus y equals 3, so there are no like terms. I can definitely move things around. Who knows? But let's read this and see exactly what we need to do. I make the habit of immediately identifying a question because it helps my thought process to not you know, go a million different directions when I read a question. But we also have to be pretty nimble and say, maybe I was wrong the first time around. Maybe this is not a simplified question. So the question says one of the two equations in a linear system is given. Okay. The system has exactly one solution. Which equation could be the other equation in the system? Okay. So definitely the long way to do this would be to just try each answer choice. And I am not necessarily opposed to doing that. So let's just do that, right? I think that'll be my first thought. So with answer choice A, basically we're saying we have negative 4x plus y equals 6, along with the original 4x minus y equals 3. We'd be able, we'd be able to use elimination here. But if you notice, the x would be gone and the y would be gone, and I'd have 0 equals 9. And this is a no solution um, answer. So A is gone because we're looking for exactly one solution, not no solution. So we choose choice B, same thing, 4x minus y equals 3. Well, that's exactly what we started off with, right? 4x minus y equals 3. Hopefully you know that um, this means that we're going to have infinitely many solutions. But if you don't know, right, I could subtract the bottom from the top, making this negative 4x, making that positive, which means that's gone. Making that negative means that gone. So we'd have 0 equals 0, which is different from 0 equals 9, right? This is not true, and therefore we get no solution. This is true, but 0 equals 0, or any number equaling itself when you follow um, the, any method to solve for a system of equations, means infin infinitely many solutions, right? So this this question might be actually good for reviewing these types of things that we easily forget. Uh, choice, so B is gone because we want exactly one solution. Choice C, 4x plus y equals 5. And again, my 4x minus y equals 3. When I add these two together, I'd get 8x. My y's would be gone. 8x equals 8. Divide by 8, I get x equals 1. When I plug 1 into, let's say, this top equation, I'd have 4 minus y equals 3, subtract 4, subtract 4, I'd have negative y equals negative 1, and therefore y equals positive 1, and that is, that is one solution, right? So x equals 1, y equals 1, that's 1 comma 1, that is a single solution, so I'm liking choice C, but let's just try out choice D, right? So let me erase this so I have some more space. Hopefully this all made sense on how to get no solution and infinitely many solutions, and then our normal case here where we have a single solution, right, an x, an x and a y value. So choice D, I'd have 4x minus y equals 3. I'd have 4x minus y equals 5. Um, let's see, what could I do? I want to use elimination, right? So I'd have to subtract the bottom, in which case the 4 becomes negative, the y becomes positive, and again, we'd have the x crossing out, the y's crossing out, and a 0 equals, in this case, because the 5 would become negative, a 0 equals negative 2. So this would be another example of no solution. So that's why d is gone. So that is why choice c is the best answer here.